Hey guys, um, welcome to Farm for Life. Uh, we've got a cow having calving trouble, so she's definitely having a breach. Um, how can you tell signs of a breach? So a perfect calving, you want two feet, head first, two feet. Not one leg, like that, out of the fanny. So that's the back leg you've got sticking out there. And um, four girls trying to carve and have a feed at the same time. So we're just going to get her up, try and get her up, and um, walk her slowly up to the cow shed, put her in the yards. Right, so we've just brought this cow from down the paddock up to the cow shed, um, brought her through the lane here. She's in our head crush at the moment. Um, <coughs> she, the calf still seems to be moving, so it's, I think it's still alive. Uh, I'm just going to give her an anti-inflammatory, which is key, so it's an intramuscular injection. Um, it's got a zero milk withholding, but uh, full day meat withholding. And I'm also going to give her some oxytocin, just to help her relax so she's not fighting me through her contractions. Okay, so uh, yeah, one on one side, so I'm going to slightly punch the area, the muscle there, just so it's, uh, so it's not so sore. Pull it out and just rub the spot there. Take the first. And I'm going to put the key on the other side. So, uh, with the key, the key injection, um, it's three mils per 100 kg. So, she's probably about 450 kilos. So, we've got uh, roughly about 15 mils there to inject. Okay, intramuscular. I'm going to use a glove because I don't want to get shit all over me. I'm just going to lube her up a bit. See what's going on in there. Okay, okay, yes I do. I said amen and hallelujah. Let me. Sometimes I wonder where all our lube's gone, and it's uh, this young fella Josiah's got it all at home. Hey boy. <coughs> right, so at the moment this car, so its back leg's coming out like that, okay, and this other leg is bent forward. Actually, it's bent like that. So I have to push. The back leg, the one that's coming out currently, I'm going to push that back in. I'm just going to see how big this calf is, if we can. And I want to try and bring that other leg out. So if we can get both back legs poking out, we'll just see if we can slowly ease that calf out. Seems quite small. I'm trying to get pissed on. <laughs> You all had a good day too, Gil. Right, so I've got two, two back legs here. Good, so the calf's bum will be here, okay, and its tail will be here. So just to, whenever you're carving a cow, um, if you're ever carving a breech, you have to make sure that that tail doesn't get caught backwards, um, otherwise it acts as like a little hook. Testify to another morning, a morning on that self get in my way. Achilles tendons here. So it's real good to when you when you guys get um, your carving rope, make sure it's nice and soft. Just so it's a bit easier on the calf. We're just gonna go past the Past the knuckle there, put a bit of tension on. So you want downward tension. I'm actually going to jump in here. So I'm just putting tension on on this carpet. Downward tension, and I'm using my right hand here just to try and loop up around there so the hips have just come through there's the tail righty it's a young heifer so awesome she'll be a keeper yes I'm gonna try and catch this carpy comes out good oh, girl don't want to pull it on the ground so this car is actually dead right now 
if we hang him upside down, if he was alive just a second ago. So normally when a come, calf comes out, it comes out forwards with its head first, like so. So just trying to drain that fluid there, try and get that heart pumping. It's probably too late. Resuscitation. There you go, he's alive now. <laughs> Just hold him there, he's got plenty of fluid in him. Yeah! There you go, buddy. Normally they'll come out and they'll hang outside of the cow like this, outside of the cow's fanny, like that, and that'll drain the fluid, like so. See all that fluid's coming out of his nose? Stick your thumb and finger in. Trying to get a reflex there, so he coughs it all up. Good girl. Right here, make sure there's no tears. Possibly be another calf in here, a twin. The reason we don't go and rip all this afterbirth out is, these are all ligaments here, okay? If I went to rip that out and I snapped that ligament, some of this afterbirth may stay inside. Cow gets blood poisoning and will slowly tip over if not treated properly. So. There doesn't seem to be any tears in there. Luckily, this cow had quite a small calf. Um, so I'm just going to give her some oral cow post-carving supplement. See, why are they black? They look like your teeth. Okay, well, okay, well she, <laughs> <laughs> she can't afford to go to the dentist either. She's a wee donation. Hi, Koha. When I open my eyes, hope I see you shine. We're planting our